Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to video 3 using the LSP Maternity Actions in Photoshop. This video is a faster recipe guide for you if you're already familiar with using the LSP Actions. If you haven't already, please do watch video 1, which is where I walk you through using these actions in depth as a step-by-step -step, uh, much more detailed tutorial. Okay, so let's get started with this image. This is by the amazing Kaya Plant and it's just a really pretty, really beautiful image. Okay, so I'm going to start up here with the one-click section and I'm just going to play this to balance the image out a little bit. This balances the highlights and the shadows a little bit more, adds just a general base to your image. Okay, um, and as you can see, this area here is a little bit blown out, so I'm just going to take this off. There we go, let's rescue the blown highlights and flatten. I'm going to tidy up the background area a little bit here. Um, this is at the point in a maternity edit I would normally do this. You can do this at any point in your edit, but I kind of recommend... Oh, <laughs> just get that out of the way. I'd recommend doing it after you've kind of balanced and got the base of your image sorted, but before the skin edit. Okay, so I'm going to play the perfect skin base. Um, this is great for removing little blemishes and smoothing out the skin, but still keeping the texture and the tones intact. So I'm going to be quite careful not to paint this over the details um, and just play over any areas you want to smooth. You may want to check the legs as well, don't forget the legs in pregnancy. Uh, you may find the skin tone of the legs is a little darker than normal um, as because of, you know they're carrying a little bit more blood, a little bit more weight from the third trimester belly. There. So don't forget those legs. Okay, so now I'm going to play um, the makeup bag here. And this sets up multiple actions so I can zoom in on the face and just work on really picking out those details here. So I'm just going to sharpen up a little bit. Um, white teeth didn't need that. I'm just going to pop those lips a touch, pop, add a little bit of blush. You can go as heavy or as light as you want to. I recommend brightening the eyes at um, the opposite of the catch light there. Okay, now I'm going to play the shading. This um, gives me actions for lightening, darkening, rescuing highlights. Um, and lifting the shadows up. So I'm going to rescue these highlights here on the face. The area was a little bit blown to begin with, so I'm just going to bring some of those back in by using this brush here. Again, if you're unsure of any of these steps, please do watch video one. I'm just going to brighten the face up all over, and, all there. Um, and add some darkness to some other areas just to kind of really make this pop and add the shadows in. You can also run this contrast 3D over like I've just done. Let's brighten the front of those legs a little bit as well. And take the highlights down. Okay. So now I'm going to play um, the, well, I'm the specialist section here. I'm just going to add the depth. It's up to you whether you like to add one or not. I like to bring the, um, the focus back into the subject. So now we can see before and after here. So that's before and coming down. And after. I'm just going to resize the Facebook now. This opens the image as a separate image here, um, so you, there's no way you can save your Facebook version over your original. And you can add your watermark however you like, um, whether you use a brush or whether you prefer to use um, place. And then when you're done, just save your image and um, save it as a separate Facebook image. And your original is separate. Thanks for watching.